We're going to do a little dye job today. And we're eating pineapple for breakfast after a nice workout. Well, howdy, we have a new phone. And boy, does it show detail. <laughs> it shows the wrinkles and the dirt and the everything. It's wonderful, but it is a fantastic camera. It films out of this world. So I am learning how to use it and play with it. I'm having a lot of fun. Seems the volume is good. We'll see here when I upload. Um, I don't know yet if it's compatible. It says it's compatible with my PC. This is all boring stuff. You don't even have to pay attention. I have some technical stuff to figure out. I'm still waiting for my tripod. I'm now waiting for a USB port so I can download the videos and we will see if it's compatible with my movie maker. I'm not quite ready to move into a fancy editing program. Plus, um, iMovie does not work on PCs. At least that's what I was doing some research this morning. So it's intimidating. I am trying to up my game. I'm trying to educate myself. I'm educating myself on writing. I'm educating myself on um, a lot of things. Some things didn't work out, and then I was trying different blogs, and I had to go back to my old blog, WordPress, because that works the best. Let me raise this up, hold on. Okay, <clears throat> that way I'm not looking down. You gotta look up, gotta look up. I've got my Avengers cup. I got this for 75 cents at the thrift store the other day. And I have my my Marvel t-shirt that I got for $5 at the Goodwill. I love Marvel. Marvel's fun. I like Marvel, but I am a big Avengers person. I mean, not that I remember all the storylines and all the names and the I don't totally geek out on it, but I love, I love Star Wars, I love Avengers, Marvel, I love all that sci-fi, things that are so uh, not real. Uh, anything that's not like reality, I love it. Um, however, I love Avengers the most because it's about good battling evil and, and it's not depressing. It's not like really dark and depressing. And there's no gore. When someone dies, well, maybe there is a little blood. I don't know. It's mostly when people die, they disappear. They just turn into ash. If it were only like that in real life. So, and you know, I just... I just want to play more and more. The more I want to play, the more I want to play, if that makes sense. And the more I exercise, the more I play, the more I want to play. The more I exercise, the more I want to exercise. The more I eat vegetables, the more I want to eat vegetables. I'm confusing myself already. I'm a little bit airheaded, but it's okay. I got to heat this up a little more. I also love that there's color. The one of the biggest things that I wanted a really good phone for is the color. I want color. I want rich color because you know, I am a fan of the Technicolor musicals. So why wouldn't my videos be, why wouldn't they be? Technicolor as well, right? I mean, the biggest thing I love, the reason why I love the musicals so much, especially the really old ones, not really old, but older, Technicolor music, 
positive vibes. Like Hello Dolly is my favorite musical. Out of all the musicals, that is my favorite. I'm, I've watched her maybe a hundred times at this point. And I keep, it's, I always put her on in the background or that musical in the background when I work because it just feels good. It's funny, it's charming, it's positive, it's playful, it's colorful. The costumes are so, I love the dresses, they're gorgeous. The dancing, the songs, I have the CD. I could go on, but I won't. Anyway, I'm doing the April NaNoWriMo. I'm halfway done with my book. I'm cruising along. Today I'm alone a little bit. Everybody is at work and school, and I had time to work on my book, to work out, to chat with a friend on the phone without being, two friends. I had two phone calls where I wasn't interrupted or had to stop because someone was giving someone trouble. It's just wonderful. And then I can make the videos and I'm not interrupted in my discussion. Although it looks like my battery's dying now. Of course, of course it is. But we'll get back to talking another time. Like I said, I'm waiting for all my little pieces and parts and I want I don't want to make a super long video now until I can download this and see if it works and how it works but you know right now that's how I feel like I just want to improve I want to improve my writing I want to improve my videos I want to improve myself I want to improve my health my body everything and I've set some pretty strong goals recently and I have I want to show you I have just registered where is it oh here it is I have just res registered the cruise I've already paid for it. everything's paid everything's set I just had to get on there open an account and register and I just get so excited and um, the travel agent gave me a brochure and I wanted the brochure because I want to look at the pictures. I want to look at the pictures. I want to thumb through the magazine. The kids like to thumb through it too. But at the end of this month, we're going in for our passports and I'm going to get passports and I'm going to get passport cards. I'm not messing around every single year when the tax returns come in. We're going traveling. We're going to go everywhere. Every year we're going to pick a spot. We'll either do a cruise or a bus tour, one of those group travel groups. And we're doing it. You know, it's like life. This is life. The, my friend and I were talking. My friend in Oregon is very, she um, does the astrology and she's very into life after death and you know and we have these wonderful conversations about spirituality and life after death and our spirit guides and she's always doing my astrology which I love and she's pretty on point and she'll do it for politics she'll do it for the world she'll do it for everything it's very fun and we were talking about and this is something I have to be reminded of all the time but she was talking about when they, when people meet people, spirits on the other side, they say, this life is all about learning and exploring and playing and, and experiencing. And it's not to be taken as seriously as we take it. And the best thing we can do for ourselves and the world is to heal ourselves and to be happy and fill ourselves with love and happiness. And the more we sit in love and joy and we follow our bliss and stay in our bliss, we exude that out and everyone around us benefits because they feel it. We don't have to preach it or talk about it or do. Just us being there, we heal people and help people and we send that out to the world and we can meditate and send out all kinds of healing and love to the world. And 
we also, if we stay in a high vibration, we stay connected to God's spirit. We stay connected to our spirit guides. When we get really in the dark and depressed and caught up with the worldly problems, we disconnect ourselves. When we um, practice our addictions, be it drugs, alcohol, food, we separate ourselves from spirit and our spirit guides. So the best thing is to stay clear, stay healthy, put clean food in our body, have happy thoughts, find what makes us joyful, and continue to find things that make us joyful. And watch children, be with children. I prefer to be with my children more than anyone else, except for there are a couple friends that are just as fun and playful. And so I, I enjoy them too. I prefer them because they're still new and fun and they're all about having fun and laughing and and so I watch that and I've been going to the park with the kids almost every day when it's nice and sunny we go and I just I watch those kids and I watch them running around and inventing games and playing and they're just like this village oh they're everywhere and they're doing their own thing and and they're starting their little tribes and creating their little, you know, games and hierarchies. And they're so fun to watch. And that's what I have to remind myself every day. This is just a game. This is just a place to play and to experience and have fun. And that's what I want to do. And so I've been, you know, it's like I get the goofy t-shirt. I get the mug. I was so excited when I got this mug. You know, I love these movies. And I always have visuals around me, you know, it's like I have my book, I have my cups, I have my, you know, I have Hello Dolly playing in the background. I have my cute little dog by my side all the time. And I spend a ton of time with my kids and I just remind myself, stay in a high vibration, play, have fun, even with my writing. Don't take it so seriously. Just play, have fun. You should love to write. I don't know if I'm going to make a fortune or be successful. That's not what it's about. And the minute you start to think that, your vibration goes down, your writing starts to suck. You write what you love to write about. And you have fun. Like right now I'm writing a fictional book. And I love the characters. And I love the story. And I don't even know you know, where it's go. I, I mean, I do kind of know where it's going. I've done an outline, but it keeps changing. The characters keep recreating themselves. The story kind of happens on its own. I feel like I'm just a conduit to just type it up. I'm just transcribing for these people. But um, as long as I stay and play, I can't wait to get to my typewriter and work on the story. The minute I start to think about, well, I wonder if it'll be, you know, people like it and will it sell, and then everything deflates. But that is an important, my friend and I were talking about that today and how important it is. And also from the other side, um, they say, don't get involved in the news, you know, don't get involved in the news because it's toxic. And every side thinks they're right, and they aren't right. They aren't right. So we have to stay neutral and just do good things ourselves. Lead by example. Which reminds me, I want to show you my, I want to show you my shampoo bars. I've been buying bars of shampoo. Hold on. We have a little health food store up the way, just a tiny one off to the side. And I get this, it's about $5. And I love this soap. It lathers up so well. It cleans so well. I feel like my hair is actually stronger. It's not stripping it. And it smells delicious. And it's lasted forever, but I don't wash my hair every day. I wash my hair probably once a week, maybe a little less, four to seven days. So it's lasted weeks, all three of us, because Bali doesn't have any hair. But all three of us use this and it's lasted a few weeks and it's still pretty big. So 
um, this is one of the things I did. You know, I'm trying to get off the plastic. And yes, sometimes I go shopping, everything's packaged in plastic, it, you know? And then sometimes I go shopping and I get everything and I have the bags for the produce and, you know, and I'm getting better every day. But first of all, we don't buy, we have a Berkey water filter, so we don't buy plastic bottles at all. So that's saved thousands of bottles of plastic, thousands of dollars. And then now I've switched to this. I don't buy shampoo bottles. I have a few conditioners and shampoo left over, but as those go away, we don't do that. We replace it with this. And when the conditioner is all done, I don't know why I have a million bottles of conditioner. When those are gone, I'm gonna switch over to a conditioner bar. And I switched over um, the laundry detergent. I'm gonna start getting the dishwashing detergent in a box, you know, just every time I go shopping, I replace it with something recyclable, compostable. I have the compostable bags. So that's what we do, you know? We just lead by example, we keep getting better and getting better. Anyway, I gotta go plug in my phone. I wanted to show you some, of, this is my dinner. So all day I had water, coffee, juice, a whole pineapple, I ate a whole pineapple, and I forgot what else. I kind of feel like that was it. And so then this is my dinner and it's right brown rice beans and then I put Kiki's cheese sauce, avocado, tomato, sriracha, and I'm gonna have salad. And this is a big plate and I am stuffed and then I sleep really well. I know people think you should eat light before you go to bed. I actually love to have a big meal and then I sleep so well. And, but I wake up starving in the morning. But most of the day, uh, I showed you, like I showed you the juice, the pineapple, the water, the coffee, that's all I have during the day. That's not how I plan it, but that's really fills me up. So this is this, and I kind of have a little, I have a little food bar, because when dad comes home, I've got sour cream for the him and the kids, and salad, and salsa, and Kiki's cheese, and uh, they didn't finish their quesadillas, and there's tomatoes. We'll do tomatoes, because we got to use those up. And avocado, and then whole wheat tortillas. Here's the brown rice, here's the beans. So I'll just heat, let's move that over so we don't melt the bag. And so I'll just whip up if someone's hungry, they can either whip it up or I'll whip it up for them. And I did some house cleaning today. And uh, I got rid of the leather chair. I had a recliner in the living room and I got rid of it because I didn't really like it and it was taking up space and I was starting to feel crowded again. And it's hard for me to keep my house clean and tidy when I'm feeling crowded. And I'm still, I'm not super crazy about my table and my chairs in my office, but we're gonna figure that out. And here's the house all clean. So I got rid of, there was a big old chair and I got rid of it, put it on the street. So here is the house, so it's got room space and room and then we have all these stuffies up there it's looking crazy books and stuffies and then over here i just put a couple things and then there's a box i'm going to do some more purging tomorrow because i'm feeling cluttered but i did not i vacuumed and mopped and everything today i can't believe it because usually i don't in the afternoon but the house was feeling so grimy but i'm not crazy about this I think I might turn my desk around. I might turn it around and have it like that. Not super crazy with this. And no one really sits in here, you know? We do some schoolwork and some eating, but not really. I don't know. There's the salad. There, so I'm gonna go eat and then I'm gonna wanna pass out.
Look at the garden. Last time you saw it was all crazy and overgrown. Bolly did this half. I have to do this half. So probably today, after we do some schoolwork, I'm going to come out here and I've got to weed up this whole side. And I have to be careful because I have um, a lot of mustard greens, so we had to be careful. Because see, there's a little, there's a little odd, this is an ends, you know, there's like, oh, there's some cilantro, there's some onions, here are my radishes. I don't know what that is. Kale. I'm pretty sure it's kale. This is lettuce. And here's a sweet little tree, which I also don't know what this tree is anymore. I think it's a plum tree. And then this, I'm going to plant corn. I'm going to plant corn all the way through here and then carrots over here. And then it's supposed to rain. Look, there's some mustard greens. And I put a bird bath in here because if you feed the birds well and you have bird baths everywhere in the summer, they won't get into your tomatoes or, pet or bother any of your garden. They just get the bad bugs and um, they're very beneficial. I love, I, I try to keep the birds in my garden because they eat all the nasty bugs. But my garden's always filled with lots of good bees and um, uh, ladybugs. Also, Bolly pulled up the weeds around here and he planted flowers. I planted some sunflower seeds, but that was the beginning of winter, so I don't know, because he pulled up all this grass kind of dug it up so that they could breathe um, and so I don't know I'm gonna get some more sunflower seeds and put it around because if you plant flowers and sunflower seeds around your trees it attracts all the pollinators and then there's some more what is that maybe some more mustard greens so there you now you can see my little grapes and then over here is crazy, so I'm going to try to get out here today. It's supposed to rain Friday. I'm not Friday or Saturday, but I think I better get in here and start weeding just in case because the soil is nice and soft and easy. Look, it even grew through my little path. So this side's crazy, see? Before, after. Let's see, what else am I gonna grow? I'm gonna grow corn all the way over here, huge patch corn. Haven't had luck with corn, but I'm gonna do a big patch. And carrots, don't have luck with carrots, but we're gonna try. Keep trying, keep on trying. And then, I don't know what else. I'm gonna go look at my schedule right now, my little planting calendar, and go look at my seeds. And then I have more space over there I have some, sp I just have space everywhere. So we're going to fill it up, fill it up good. I got myself a new t-shirt. I said, every time I publish a book, I'm going to get myself a writing gift. So this is my t-shirt. This is not from NaNoWriMo. This is because I just published two books and I just love this. T okay. Why is it giving me trouble? Why are you giving me trouble? Anyway, I love it. I love the size, the color, everything. I love this picture. And I got myself a mug, which should be coming today. Plus today, the tripod and lighting's coming and my USB port special for my Apple phone so I can download the videos and see if I'm going to have any drama with editing. All right, and we're going to do some writing and um, we're doing a little homeschooling over here and I'm going to sit over here and write. And I'm also going to do a little more rearranging of the house, but we'll get to that later. I have a guest coming. My friend from Oregon's coming at the end of the month and um, I need to order some bunk beds and I need to move the table 
This table is not working for me here. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm going, I do not like my the table in my office. And also I have a really nice um, pull-out couch. I found for free, but it was clean. A nice little love seat that pulls out and I got a brand new foam mattress for it. So I'm gonna put that back in my office and that's like for sleeping guest beds. I'm gonna get bunk beds for the other room. I'm gonna move this fridge, but I gotta wait for Bali to come home tonight. I'm gonna move this fridge and move the, move the table and chairs into here. And I know it's by the bathroom and I'm not thrilled with that either, but I cannot, I just can't, I can't have it in my office and I want my couch back in there. Long story short, Anyway, that's what I got to do. We're going to do some gardening right now. We're going to garden, garden. I got to take off my little shoes. I've got tons of laundry to do too, and I have a whole thing of laundry. But we're going to ignore that. I got on my sunscreen. And I was ready. I was ready. Okay. Come on, Malita. Let's go. I need to walk her, but my hips out a little bit. So I'm limping around like I'm 500 years old. 550 years old. That's me. See? The camera's jiggling because I was crippled. I have the chiropractor and I work out like crazy, but sometimes I'd like to move this stupid pile of, it's not stupid, it's a wonderful pile of compost, but I'd like to move it, but I'm not strong enough. Bali does the labor. I'm pretty strong. Anyway, I've got a bunch of stuff here. Let's see what we got. See what we got. Hi, Miles. Let me fix your little ear. Sam drew on me. I'm not happy about that. Oh, there's a bee. No, no, don't chase it. Don't, no, 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 no. We don't chase the bumblebees. And plus, if you bite it, it's going to sting you. Okay, cucumbers. Let's see, some more squash. Egg I had a dream about acorn. Where is it? Uh oh. Little, 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 little. Oh, cucumber. We can do cucumber, summer squash, corn. Oh, butternut squash. I had a dream about butternut squash last night, and I dreamt I was at a health food store with Prince Harry. Weird, huh? I never follow the Harry Megan stuff, but I was with him. And all the butternut squash was like, there was tons of it. It was in baskets and shelves and cut up and uncut up and, and cute little things. And it was like 25 bucks for a little box of pre-sliced butternut. And I thought in my dream, I better plant some butternut. Isn't that funny? And it is time. It's time to plant it. Now it looks just the same, but it's not. I did some potatoes. Actually, I'm a little late for potatoes, but we're just gonna work with it. Lots of cucumber and squash in here. All kinds of winter, summer squash, cucumbers, and corn all the way through here and through here. I know you're supposed to do a big patch of corn. Um, so that's kind of a weird patch, but we'll see. This side, I don't have any carrots. So this side we're gonna leave empty. Um, maybe I'll get some carrots tomorrow and plant those and then we'll save the rest of the space for other things to plant in May. Oh, and I need to reserve a big space for tomatoes. Okay. We got it planted. I'm ready now. I'm ready to go wash up and eat something. 
actually. Okay, so we got everything planted except for this side, which I'm gonna leave open for tomatoes, some carrots, whatever else delights our fancy. And then there's also this side that we can, we got a, I got that whole pile. Throw that in the compost, dig all this up, plant this side too. And then back here, I can't, I tried to weed up the path. The path is all crazy. I have to be careful too. There's a lot of ladybugs and I felt like I was hurting them because I was trying to pull up the weeds. So the path, I couldn't get weeded up. This is my mustard green patch and I weeded it up and we're done. So all I got to do is Bali will come home tonight and probably dig this up. And then tomorrow I'll go get some seeds and um, I don't know when I plant tomatoes, I forgot. We'll see. Anyway, so that's that. We're gonna do it in cinematic. Anyway, I'm done with the garden. I came in, my packages are here. So I'm gonna download videos. I'm super thrilled because I wanna make sure it works. I had to get special earphones and USB port for this phone. And I'm hoping it works. I hope it downloads its yeah, turn that down, Sam. It's supposed to be compatible. Here, we're going to open up. I've got, I also got myself a mug because I published two books. So every book I publish, I get a gift. And so I'll show you. I got that wonderful t-shirt. I love it. And then I got this wonderful mug. Isn't that cute? Look, we got cinematic. Storyteller. I think I'm going to take it off cinematic. Okay, that's better. And then we've got this. And this is our tripod. And I'm telling you, once you, those of you who make videos, once you have a tripod, you never go back. Anyway, and I've got lighting. So I've got this wonderful lighting. And it has, um, I guess I have a plug-in. And it has, I don't know, it has a thing to hold it. I love, you know, I love to crack with it. Anyway, it's got a little, um, it's one light, but it's it changes from natural to warm to, it has, I think, three or more settings. We'll put it here, we'll open up this. And then the tripod, my old one was really cheap. It was like $9 and it fell apart. This is a better quality. Oops, what's happening here? Oh. So this, I don't know what this is. I'm not quite sure. It's something clicky. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Anyway, one of these holds the light and one holds the video, so I don't know. And then the tripod. And you know, I used to record without a tripod and it was so hard and then once I got a tripod, oh man, what a game changer that was. Like, you don't need anyone to help you film. You just set up your tripod. So, there you go. We got a tripod. And I'll figure this out when we're not all together. But I think, I don't know. Anyway, we'll figure it out later, but we're set to go. I'm gonna download these videos and then we are gonna be fancy schmancy.